Senator just sued the Obama administration in federal court. And what happened? Well, the Obama administration returned the fire and just sued Florida. Now they're both suing each other. But why are both sides so steamed at each other? Florida Governor Rick Scott joins us. Good evening, Governor. Good evening. It was interesting listening to your conversation with Carl Rove. We've cut taxes in Florida. We've reduced regulation. And now we're uh, lowest in three years. Our unemployment is lowest in three years. So if they would do that at the federal level, our economy all across the country would get as good as Florida is getting. Well, that's good news for the people of Florida. Um, not so good news for you. you got, you're getting sued, or your state is by the feds. Um, and tell me, this vote, what, what you were seeking to do, and I want you to explain, is that you're trying to uh, purge non-citizen voters uh, from your voting uh, file. So tell me about this. Sure. Greta, there's no purge. What we're trying to make sure is Americans have a sacred right to vote. Uh, it's not right that that would get diluted by a non-citizen. It's illegal for someone not a citizen of this country to vote. It's a crime. So what we did is we started the process about a year ago. We started asking Homeland Security for their database, which would allow us uh, to look at that and help make sure that we could let our supervisor of elections make sure that they didn't have non-citizens voting. They uh, stalled, and finally, uh, we took a motor vehicle database and did a small sample, and guess what? We found almost 100 non-citizens that were registered to vote, over 50 have voted in elections. Uh, that's wrong. That's a crime. Uh, so what we ended up doing is we had no choice but to sue the Department of Homeland Security. So we did that. Uh, and we're going to make sure that your right, your sacred right to vote, if you're a U.S. citizen, is not diluted in our state by non-citizens. Now, what is the, where's the group of people that you uh, looked at first? Was it a, a certain area of the state? I mean, I mean, obviously, one of the things is, did you go, for instance, to the driver's records of, the, of a Democratic section of the state? Did you do anything like that? Of course not. It, the, Greta, this is, a not, this is not a partisan issue. It's not Republican, Democrat, Independent. We, what we did is we took the database. It was, we didn't say, you know, where do you live or anything like that. We just said, you know, based on that small sample, uh, it looked like those individuals might not be uh, citizens. Uh, we sent that to a supervisor elections. We have, a, we have good due process. What happens is they have the opportunity then to send a letter out to those, uh, those individuals. Then if uh, they don't get a response in 30 days, they file a notice in the paper. If they don't get another response, then they will be taken off the rolls. However, if you, go to the, if you go to the poll and say, hey, I'm supposed to be uh, able to vote, you will be given a provisional ballot, so your vote will count. All right, and what, um, do, are you requiring, just so I understand this right, you, since you don't have this Homeland Security database to know whether they're citizens or not citizens, are you sending the letters and sort of shifting the burden of the people who receive the letters to come forward to prove they are citizens? Well, what, what we did is we took that small sample, and that's what we've done so far, and that's why we've had to sue uh, Homeland Security for this database because it's the right database. By federal law, we have a right to the database. Uh, it's supposed to be able to be used for voter registration. So what we did is we did a small sample. Now we're trying to work with Homeland Security get, to get the right database. It's called SAVE and use that to do it the right way. But the, but the people who got this letter, I mean, the people who, who were in this database you sent the letter to, you, when you sent them the letter, did you have any information that, that they might not be citizens? Well, what we said is you, uh, you need to come forward and show us that you're a U.S. citizen, uh, and then but why and them? if you don't, of but course. But why them? But why them to begin well, with? Well, based on, sure, Greta, but because of the data that we had, it appeared that they were not U.S. citizens. Uh, we want to make sure that U.S. citizens' vote is not diluted, so we took that and looked at that small sample to see if we could use that. But what we need to use is the database from Homeland Security. That's the right database, and we're entitled to it. And I understand that, and that seems like a more efficient way to do it, but I'm, I'm trying to understand that. Why did you think from the first group that they might not be citizens if you didn't have the Homeland Security database? I mean, what was it about them? Well, we, we, looked, at, we looked at data from um, the motor vehicles, and that database gave us uh, an idea to believe that there were non-citizens, and so that's how we gave that, that data like to our supervisor of elections. Like what, Governor? I'm thinking about my own driver's license. I don't think there's anything on my driver's license to say whether I'm a citizen or not a citizen. It's information they would give, and they were they would give home uh, give the uh, motor vehicles when they got their driver's license. So maybe it was something different than I have filled out. I don't know, but anyway. And then it, consequently, um, and, and a subsequent suit, we're running out of time. The federal government has now sued you because you've changed some of your laws, and they say that you did so improperly. But that we'll have another day, and we'll be able to talk about that one. All Governor, right, uh, we're doing we're doing you. the right thing. Governor, right. nice to talk to you. Thank I'll you, sir. It.